Hello guys, in recent Laravel 11 versions there were a few changes regarding error page and one of the change was from Spati who released a new package Spati Laravel error share after the changes in the core Laravel that don't allow sharing errors anymore. Let me explain all of that with history. So first if we go way back five years ago Back at Laracon EU 2019, Freck from Spati with Marcel from Beyond Code teamed up to create Ignition Package. An Ignition Package is basically an error page which became the core part of Laravel 6 at the time. And it looks like this. It looks like a familiar page to most of you, probably if you started with Laravel 10 or latest versions. So if you have some exception like this, which I just faked in my Laravel 10 project of filament examples, you have this page powered by Ignition page from Spati. And you can expand vendor frames to get more details. There's the underlined highlighted line and there's possibility to share that error. And we will get back to that function in a minute. So what happened in recent Laravel 11 version, from what I remember it was Laravel 11.8, Taylor tweeted that they have a new error page, freshly designed, minimal, which looks like this. So I've done the same thing in totally fresh Laravel 11 project and it looks like this. You can also expand vendor frames. It doesn't look much different structurally. If we just click back and forth. It's almost the same structurally, maybe a bit more minimalistic, but not too drastically different. And the reason of the change actually wasn't the design. In the comments to the same tweet, the question why was it removed? Taylor answered to maintain first party control. Which makes sense, Laravel is expanding as a company and just from branding perspective, it's better for them as a company to have first party control by themselves instead of relying on a third party package. As famous as Spati is as a company for packages, Laravel core framework functionality should be maintained by Laravel core team, especially when they have so many developers right now. Just in 2024, by the way, fun fact, not sure if you know that, just in 2024, the core Laravel team grew from 11 people in the beginning of the year, which was already impressive, to 31 people at the moment. So Taylor mentioned that on the recent podcast. So yeah, with so many people, they can afford to maintain the core features in the functionality of the framework itself, maintained by Laravel team and not external companies. But now let's get back to share functionality, which was commented by Dan Herring, creator of Filament and other people. And this is where we get back to Frex tweet. The share functionality is missing. In the new error page, there is no share button here. And that share was powered by Flare from Spati. In hindsight, I think it's a genius marketing move. In the default error page of Laravel, you have share powered by Flare, which is a premium product by Spati. I think it's a great business model. So you have free, beautiful error page with a lot of functionality, but optionally you offer your premium service. And Flare is one of the popular bug tracking systems online. Competitors and alternatives are Sentry, Bugsnag, Rollbar, Flare is just kind of more native in Laravel community because it's created by Spati, which is kind of internal part of Laravel ecosystem. So with share functionality, what you could do potentially is have a link and post it somewhere internally on your team or externally, for example, on some forum for others to help you debug the error. So the new package by Spati kind of returns the same Laravel error share and now it is called Laravel error share. It's not ignition. It doesn't have flare inside. It's Laravel error share, which returns the same functionality. You choose what to share, what to hide, and then you get a link that you can post somewhere. That link is still leading to Flare, but it's a public link and we will get to risks in a minute, but it's free. You don't need to be a Flare user to have that link. And if we scroll down the same article, is this secure? This is important thing because with that link, as you can see, a lot of details are exposed. So the first use case actually in the same article is why would you share an error? The first use case is ask a colleague for help. So the first intentional use of sharing the error is within your company probably. But I've seen people posting flare links online. For example, on Laracast forum, you have a question and you have a link to 
person's flare with illegal offset type and it's pretty clear the part of the backend code which is kind of a security risk but it depends which part is visible and it doesn't contain any kind of sensitive data like passwords or something like that but it may be a security risk for someone just to know which Laravel version, for example, is under the hood or which package is used. Maybe it has some vulnerability. So be careful with sharing those links. But I have seen people sharing them. Sometimes that link is from a free package, for example, on other case of Laracast forum. If we copy that link, it is not automatically shareable. We have this error. And if we scroll down for more context, it has a commit link and that commit leads to an open source package. It's free, it's publicly available anyway. So for someone, for example, to help you debug open source package or open source project, that error share feature may be useful. Disclaimer, I'm not affiliated with Flare in any way. I don't get paid for this video. I just want to emphasize the possibility of sharing and actually discuss with you. Have you used that share functionality or maybe you are a Flare user? So what's your experience with sharing those error pages publicly or privately within your company with your teammates? Let's discuss in the comments below. But basically to recap, Laravel 11 has new minimalistic design of error page. If you do still want to use Ignition, Taylor tweeted that you can compose or install it. And if you want to just have the functionality of sharing the errors, then the new package by Spati Laravel Error Share will help you with that. What do you think about these changes of error page? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.